Hello! Today, I'm going to tell you how to create an HTML UI for a WPF application using .NET Browser. First, let's create a WPF project. Launch Visual Studio. Create a new project. Choose WPF application. And I'm going to call my project Creating HTML UI. Now let's add .NET Browser to the project via the Nugget Package Manager. Right-click on the project. Choose Manage Nugget Packages in the Context menu. Click on Browse. Type .NET Browser in the search box and click Enter. Choose the .NET Browser package and click Install. Read the license acceptance and click I Accept. And wait until the package is installed. Now we need to add the licensed file. So, right-click on our project, choose Add and Existing Item. I have saved the file to the project folder. Please note, you should select all files to see the license file. Select the Team Dev Licenses file, and the file will be added to the project. Select the license file in the Solution Explorer, and change the Build Action to Embedded Resources to finish the license setup. Now we're going to add two browser view components with the help of XAML. Let's set the initial window size to the whole desktop. Add .NET Browser components to the window via XAML. Name the components. Divide the grid into two parts. and make the parts the same size. Assign positions for each .NET Browser component in a separate column. As you can see, we can also set the default web page through XAML. Now we'll add a sample web page with a style sheet to the project. Let's include a web page with a style sheet. Set the parameters for the added files. Now let's take a look at the style sheet and the web page source code. As you can see, there is no onclick event on the submit button. We will add it with the help of C Sharp. Remove the default URL from the designer. Now let's add a finish loading frame event via XAML Designer. Select Browser View 1 in the design mode. Choose Event Handler for the selected element. Double-click on the text box on the right of the Finish Loading Frame Event label. Initializing the primary setting in Main Window. Add the Chromium switch to turn on the Chrome Developer Tools Remote Debugging feature. Set the previously added web page as the default URL for Browser View 1. Set Chrome Developer Tools Remote Debugging URL as default for Browser View 2. Implementing the Finish Loading Frame Event Handler. Check if the page is fully loaded and return the page as a DOM tree. Check the list of all the input elements. Find the one with the submit type. Add an event listener to the on click event.
implementing the onSubmit clicked handler. Execute the implementation of the onSubmit clicked handler in a separate thread. Such an approach allows us to avoid deadlocks during a call. Create variables to store the found values. Return the page as a DOM tree. Save the values of the login and password input fields to the temporary variables. Invoke a message box with the saved values. Now it's time to build the project. So compile and launch the application. And as you can see on the left, the web page is loaded and operational. And on the right, we have the Chrome Developer Tools remote debugging feature. Let's check the onClick event and change the HTML and DevTools to see the differences live. Press the Submit button. As you can see, the onClick event that I added previously in the video works well. Now let's change the default value for the password input. After pressing Submit, we see that the onClick event returns the value that we previously changed. In the same way, I can change all the other elements. I can work with the styles of the web page as well. Thanks for watching.